Gasoline's well over four dollars, and these actions very much uh, we're very much in danger of shutting out production in the most prolific area uh, onshore in America. But you are basically powerless to stop this if this lizard, which we're looking at now, if this lizard gets on the endangered species list, there's not much you can do to stop them shutting down production. You can go to court and you can delay it, but you can't reverse it, can you? Uh, that, it's, that, that's true, Stuart. I mean, there's uh, uh, many instances where once one of these uh, critters is listed, it's near to impossible to get them delisted or do anything about it. What, why is this happening now? I mean, is there, do the environmentalists just want to protect any and all species? None of them can ever be moved or disturbed in any way, shape or form? Or are they going directly at the oil industry? Well, I think a little of both, Stuart. The uh, environmental groups have uh, sued to list over a thousand species uh, in the last four years. And, and uh, you know, there's no scientific basis for it. Uh, and some folks have said that this is a direct attack on the, the oil and gas industry, which tends to support conservative candidates uh, and also as a way to drive up oil and gas prices uh, to, to move us, uh, hopefully, to alternative fuels. All right. You're holding a rally. You're going to get public opinion, obviously, on your side, certainly in the state of Texas. You think that's enough to get them to not put the lizard on the list? Well, I, I don't know. It certainly is a big help, and uh, getting the word out is certainly an integral part of our, our efforts here. But we're also commenting on the science through the, through the proper listing proposal, and we think we, we have a, 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 a really good chance uh, because the, the, there, there's really no evidence to show that this thing is endangered. Uh, have you ever seen one, Ben? Uh, I never have in the wild. Uh, but it's supposed to be, well, maybe it's in danger because you've never seen one. Um, well, less than 1% less than of the land in question, less than 1% of this West Texas land has been surveyed. Uh, okay. well, the scientists haven't ever seen one. And they say this thing is endangered. It's going away. We can't have that to happen. We'd rather shut down oil production than see it disappear. Extraordinary stuff. Ben Shepard, thanks very much indeed, sir. We do appreciate you being with us. Thank you for having me.